Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you love tech, operating systems, and all things open source, then you're in the right place. Today we're talking about React OS, the open source Windows alternative that just got a brand new update after more than three years. Let's dive right in. So, what exactly is React OS? If you haven't heard of it before, React OS is an open source recreation of Microsoft Windows. It's designed to run Windows applications, games, and even drivers without actually being Windows. Pretty cool, right? The last major update to React OS, version 0.4.14, dropped all the way back in December 2021. Now, after three long years, React OS 0.4.15 is finally here. But what's new? First off, let's set expectations. While this update doesn't bring any groundbreaking new features, it does include a ton of bug fixes, which is always good news. It also improves compatibility with Windows software. The React OS team even shared a video showing the OS running the Rayman Origins demo. Nice. Work is also progressing on a graphical installer and UEFI support. That means better compatibility with modern PCs and devices like the Steam Deck. Imagine running an open source Windows on a handheld gaming console. Sounds pretty awesome. Another big improvement comes in the form of new storage drivers. This should help with overall system stability and better USB drive compatibility. Networking drivers have also been updated, making it easier to connect React OS to the internet and local networks. There are also many updates to fonts, the desktop shell, Windows APIs, themes, and file dialogues. These small but important tweaks bring React OS a step closer to feeling like a real Windows experience. Now, before you rush to install React OS, there are some limitations you should know about. Right now, React OS is uh, primarily built to run software for Windows XP and Windows Server 2003. That means modern Windows applications especially those built for Windows Vista and beyond, probably won't work. If you need a way to run modern Windows software on an open source system, the Wine slash Proton compatibility layer on Linux is still a much better option. But there's hope. React OS does plan to support Windows Vista, 7, 8, and 8.1 applications in a future update, version 0.50. However, with the current pace of development, that could still be years away. Oh, and one more thing. React OS 0.4.15 is the first release to support 64-bit x86 processors, kind of. While it can boot to the desktop, there's no official 64-bit version available for download yet. That's because React OS is still working on its own version of WoW 64, which is needed to run 32-bit Windows applications on a 64-bit OS. Until that's done, most of the software that works on React OS will remain 32-bit. If you're curious and want to try React OS for yourself, you can download the disk images from the official SourceForge project. You can run them in a virtual machine or even install them on real hardware using tools like Rufus or Balina Etcher. It works just like a bootable Linux disk image. Before you install, here are the system requirements, an x86 based processor, Pentium or later. At least 64 megabytes of RAM, but more is better. It drives with at least 450 megabytes of free space, though 2 gigabytes plus is recommended for larger apps. So, what do you think? Will React OS ever be a real Windows alternative? Or is it just a fun experiment for retro computing fans? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more tech updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.